This is my go-to place. I try to sneak over here as often as I can with a cup of tea and just wander through the woods and then sit by the river. This is Cannon Valley Organic Adventures and we took the site on a year ago with a view to, to cutting it back and maintaining it, uh, growing fruit and vegetables for the local community to come in and pick and raising awareness of conservation. We couldn't access any plans, any documents. So as we were cutting it back, you know, we were discovering there was a fence and a bridge and a pond. We're an approved college now. We deliver a wide range of courses and social prescription as well. So doctors refer people to us for well-being. Um, physical and, and mental health problems. And with these hazels, yeah. we're going to cut them, cut them at an angle and drop them down. And what I do then was open a lot of light up in there then, look. OK? Yeah, we're going to start. No, so I'm trying to learn coppers in there. And hedge laying, so I'm trying to have a look at that now. I'm on my third course now, like. I just feel more alive. It's, it's, it's either that or I will sit down on a set of your watch telly all day. Now I've started coming down, yeah? I'm out more and I'm doing more. I get a lot of pleasure out of it. Right, yeah, so we make the bird feeder. Um, I'd recycle bottles. Oh, like that, um, yeah? Through them. The one end of the bib piece, it's got two holes in the bottom. A large part of what we do is social prescription, but we haven't got those skills here in Wales yet. Unlimited. That's been really useful for me because meeting up with other people in similar situations, then you can learn from their mistakes. You don't have to cut it yet, but then so the bottom two holes. We are in a very deprived area. You have a lot of economic inactivity. I feel that the system doesn't know these people well enough to be able to meet their needs. Whereas in an environment like this, we're really informal. They come in, we welcome them in, um, and we focus on their strengths until they feel ready to put that structure in place themselves. You're not just working on health and well-being. then. You know, you're sort of helping them in terms of employability and education. Coming down, yeah, it's just peaceful and getting your thoughts together. It's a bit like meditating, really, you know. We've been through a lot together, a lot of ups and downs. And Grace's course then that she's just designed, we've sent for accreditation. A massive part of that is Grace being able to explain to the mental health sector how they let her down and how they contributed to her ill health and how they can make it better. You'd be surprised. We go in and see professional people. They'd find out that you had schizophrenia. The first thing they'd be like, are you going to stab us? And they're like, what? I want to help people with mental health problems. And that's what the course is about. Many of the people we work with are breaking new ground, challenging the system. A lot of the support traditionally in Wales has been more focused on outputs rather than outcomes. We're really interested in supporting people and the impact they make, so we measure their success on the difference they're making to the people around them or the communities they serve, rather than the number of activities that they're running. The good thing about being based in Wales is the fact that we can reach connections quite quickly. So we can reach decision makers or investors, potentially maybe more quickly in other parts of the UK. Yeah. And we're a good place to test ideas. The first School Leavers Careers app is being built in Wales by young Welsh people. So once you start talking and using that narrative, you know, other Welsh people are kind of listening. My Future is a careers app that connects school leavers with career opportunities. So those who are not going to university and going down the UCAS route, it's the alternative for them in the valleys. They bring this kind of generational belief 
that there's no opportunities for them and they're destined to maybe just do low paid, low skilled jobs. They don't have 10, 20, 30 years of experience. This is who they are. So why can't in just one swipe that be enough to mobilize them towards the world of work? Because they can track pizza from their sofa. They can track Amazon parcels. Why does it need to be any harder than that? It is only me, you know, running the whole of this and can lead this forward. So Unlimited give me that, that support package. We're also giving me access to a network of other social entrepreneurs. We're all going through the same narrative of trying to make change for the better and trying to drive it from the bottom up. And a lot of our courses can be delivered to um, children from 14 and over. When I came into this project, it was such a difficult time for me. Just nurturing nature, really, throughout that process made me a lot stronger, it made me resilient. That's my motivation. It's not just to give something back, but to help other people experience that. Our goal is to buy the place by 2021. They're constantly in fear that we're going to lose the land, so I can take that fear away from them, you know? And then they know then that it's, it's always going to be in the hands of the community.